We are often told that almost no one was literate in the ancient Near East, and that the ability to read and write was very rare. But the truth is more complex than that. Find out how on this episode of Ancient Egypt and the Bible. We are often told that almost no one could read or write in the ancient world, that all people from the king to the farmer were illiterate, and only a few rare scribes could read or write. However, the truth is more nuanced than that. First, we need to understand that literacy does not grow in a linear manner, but waxes and wanes. Some periods in history were more literate than others. Roman culture after Pompeii was highly literate with the institutionalization of public libraries. We see this literacy reflected in the writings of the early church fathers, whose literary output was of a sophistication that challenges even modern readers. Second, technology can enhance or detract from literacy. Today with Twitter, it can be argued that literacy is on the decline. Third, we find that profession can highly influence literacy. A scribe or diplomat needs to be better educated than a farmer. Merchants in Mesopotamia had to be literate to be able to write receipts. Under Mesopotamian law, property ownership could not be transferred without a receipt. A good number of the craftsmen at Deir al Medina were literate. The foreman of the works was literate and had to send messages to the various work sites. The draftsmen were literate, having to translate hieratic rough drafts to hieroglyphs. In the Sinai, Semitic miners, these aren't scribes, these are miners, these are people who work the mines, wrote Ostraca in early alphabetic script at Sarabit el Khadam. In Israel, we have a letter from Lachish. In Lachish No. 3, Hoshiyahu, commander of the garrison stationed at Lachish, vehemently denied the charge of illiteracy by Yahush. In a previous letter, Yahush accused Hoshiyahu of being illiterate. This suggests that high military leaders in Israel were indeed literate. In Egypt, scribes, nobilities, and princes, including future kings, were all taught to read and write. Some scribes were even given advanced training in multiple languages. We see, for example, in the prophecy of Nefertiti, the king pulls out a scroll and a palette and proceeded to record the sayings of the lector priest Nefertiti. So, what we can gather from all this is that literacy is more widespread than is often assumed. We have scribes, that goes without saying, but we also have kings, princes, nobility, craftsmen, miners of all people, and even merchants. We see Broad literacy, maybe not in every portion of those classes, but in a representative way that should give us pause to think that literacy was exceptionally rare. So anyway, I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time on Ancient Egypt and the Bible. Mm -hmm.